starting a new world building project can be a daunting task, especially if you have to work with new software. On the software part, I got you covered. I am Davina, and today I will show you how to set up your World Anvil world in five easy steps. To create your world on World Anvil, you will need a World Anvil account. To get one, you will need to navigate to worldanvil.com on your favorite web browser and hit the Create Your Account button in the top navigation bar. Once you have done that, the page will send you to the registration page where you will need to enter some basic details like your email address, your desired username and a secure password. Hit the register button and your account will be set up for you. And now we are actually ready to go. When you log into World Anvil for the first time, complete the account setup. This is a simple onboarding process to adjust the interface to your need. Select either the bright or the dark theme. I will go with the dark one because I feel it's easier on the eyes, but choose whichever one you like best. You will also have to select the features you want to activate. I will go for world building, RPG character management and accessibility and usability features. You can also subscribe to the newsletter if you want to. Next, select your editor layout. World Anvil offers Euclid as a code editor and Plato, which is a what you see is what you get editor. I will stick with Euclid because of the code highlighting. In the last step, decide if you want to create your RPG character or world. Of course, I will start with the world here. In the world creation screen, enter the name of your world and pick your RPG system. My world will be Shadow Vale and I will go with D&D 5e as my system. Leave this little checkbox marked since it will do some work for you. It will generate a basic category structure, create a place for your campaign to live in and generate some basic articles to get you started with World Anvil, so it's very helpful. Now hit that Create World button and you will be redirected to the World Dashboard. This is your main world interface and you can also access it through the globe icon in the left hand navigation bar. Next to the navigation bar you can see the category structure World Anvil generated for you. The center part of the screen is your article creation panel where you can see several buttons. Each of them would start an article with a different template, so you will have a template with all necessary information for a certain part of your world building in one place. Finally, on the right side of the screen, you will see the last articles panel. It will usually contain the articles you worked on last time, but for now it contains the articles World Anvil generated for you to get you started. To complete your basic setup, navigate to the cogwheel in the left hand navigation then down to the two cog wheels. This is your world configuration. Click on it and you'll see some options. Most of them are locked if you're a freeman, but we can still do a lot. First, in the settings tab, navigate to the additional tab and select your genres. You can have multiple, but only five will show up. My genres will be Gothic, Horror, Dark Fantasy and Victorian. If you want to, you can also Apply suitable text to your world, such as Victorian Age Gothic Horror or Modern Age Steampunk. These texts will help others to discover your world. The excerpt at the very bottom is a text that will appear in the widget if you link your world homepage. Don't forget that you can't use BB code in here. The next thing we want to set up is the Universal Timeline Date or UTD. This is the main time frame of your worlds, and you can set up how timestamps before your year zero are called and the name of the era after year zero. Don't forget to set the current date in UTD format at the bottom of the page. In the social tab, you can connect your Twitter, Patreon or a Discord for your players. If you want to use these features, include the information here, then hit save changes and you're ready to move on. To organize your categories, you need to navigate to your article and categories management. You will find the icon under the globe icon. Click on it and you will be sent to the respective page. On the left side of the screen, you will see all your categories. The center part of the screen contains all the articles you recently edited or created. If you click on one of your pre-made categories, the child categories will appear. There will also be a quick edit screen on the right side of your screen. 
To edit your category, click on Advanced Edit and you will go to the Category Edit. Fill in basic details like the category name or an icon you want to have next to your category in the table of contents. If you want to set a parent category, you can do so here. The description field in the content tab will contain your front page content for this category. Use it to introduce your players to the content they will find within. Keep your description short, just about one paragraph will be roughly enough. In the design tab there will be nothing to do for a Freeman, but if you click on display you can set a cover image or even a book cover for your category. Click on browse and select the image you want to use. Don't forget to check the visibility settings if you apply a book cover. You will need to check this option manually for the cover to appear. Once you're done editing the category, hit Save Changes and use the left-hand navigation to go back to the Articles and Categories Management. To add your own categories, just write the name of your category in the input field below the category listing, then hit the green plus sign next to the input field. You can rearrange the order of categories by dragging and dropping them in the place you want them to be. To add a subcategory, simply mark the category you want to add it in and then write the name in the input fields. Click the little checkbox where it says Set current category as parent. Then hit the green plus sign again and you are done. Now you can edit your new categories the same way you edited the pre-made ones. To delete a category, mark it as active. In the right quick edit widget, hit delete and then double check. If you are sure you want to delete your category, confirm by clicking the green check mark. Be careful, the subcategories of this category will move up and will become top level categories themselves. If there are any articles within your deleted category, they will become top level articles, which have no parent category anymore. As a Freeman on World Anvil, you cannot add in custom styling or containers. You will, however, be able to use all the built-in stuff World Anvil offers on your front page. To edit your front page, navigate back to your world settings using the left-hand navigation. In the World Introduction slash Description field, which should be empty right now, you will build your front page. Keep in mind that this is the first part of your world which your players and readers will see. Use it to hook them, not to infodump them. A very simple layout will start with a quote that suits your world, followed by an introduction paragraph. Ideally, this will be a brief description of your setting. Think of the description of Discworld, where you learn about the turtle and the elephants. Below, add a headline like where to start and create an empty column framework. If you want to, you can create empty links inside the framework. This is where your introduction articles will live. I will add the code for this page in the description below, so you can easily copy and paste it into your world. Don't forget to save your changes. When you're done, click on the eye icon in the left navigation to see how it looks so far. You can find your world meta when you click on the cogwheel again, then on the eye icon. The world meta is a place where you define the framework of your world. The section is pretty easy to understand. You will have seven major sections to fill in. Use these to get a better understanding of your own motivation and what you're actually building. This way you will not get overwhelmed. You don't need to fill in the complete world matter, but you should work on it every now and then to keep your reasons, motivations and inspirations on a level where they are useful to you. This is where the hard part begins. You have a world and the world now and you need to fill it with life. Over the course of the next videos, we will talk about maps, introduction articles, and how to start building your world and fill it with lore. I hope this video was useful for you, and if it was, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!